Hello and welcome to episode 23 of XCOM War of the Chosen. Um, we've had a mission pop, so um, coming off the back of a pretty good mission, you know, we um, we built a spark, we lost a spark, so at least we we can say we did that. Um, in terms of progress since last time, um, I've started to... We need to start thinking about the Avatar project now. It's gone up again another square. So we're going to have to do something probably in the next episode proactive. And I'm thinking we go for this facility down here um, that we uh, that we have uncovered. But we've got a mission pop, so we need to do that now. Um, I'm also building a radio relay here in Brazil. Because once I've got it completed, we get this ability here called Suit Up. So all armor and vest projects in the Proving Ground are completed instantly. So that's very, very nice. And there's a reason why. That is very, very nice. And it's because we have power armor. So we managed to get that research done. Um, and we look just, we look swagged out. What can I say? Um, in terms of what I want on this mission, um, it's very difficult. We need to recover a resistance operative. We get an engineer and 99 intel. I want a grenadier for sure. I'm going to take probably, maybe take another ranger. They've just proven to be so clutch at the moment. We could take warlords. Um, which would be pretty good. I could also um, give him the AP rounds from Nick. And I'm pretty sure I've still got some weapon upgrades. Yes. So let's give him bonus action chance. So strong on rangers. And we'll give him free reloads. Again, really strong on the rangers. So that's him set up nicely for success. But as you might have seen there, we have a new ammo type. So I'm going to put them on me, a sniper, blue screen rounds. So these basically do additional damage to robotic opponents. It's like plus five damage. It's a significant, um, significant damage boost. And it works on your pistol as well. So actually your pistol, instead of doing three to six, could do like 10, 11. So it's kind of disgusting. Um, so that's good. We've got James. Obviously, he will have a med kit. Carl, uh, I'm not sure if I need a mind shield here. Um, I might actually put a second med kit on Carl just for now and then on Steven I've also managed to unlock the frost bomb so we're gonna we're gonna put that in Steven's primary grenade slot which means we get two uh, because of Steven's ability and then in the utility slots I'm gonna take the mimic beacon and probably just a normal frag um, so that Steven's got a good support good fragging ability I think I think this is okay I think we should be good it's gonna be a difficult mission apparently um, and we'll give it a good go. Um, pretty confident with this team. I'm not sure um, exactly um, what the mission is. It's, wasn't it recovering a someone, a VIP or something? And I'm wondering. Will we have concealment as well? I assume so. It would be helpful if we did. We just got word from the resistance. Okay, yeah. Recover a resistance operative. We're in the underground. So. Never like, never a fan. Think bad things happen in the underground. Um, but we do. Okay, she's there. Okay. We need to get to her and get out. We do have concealment. All oh, right. Oh. Enemies close. Okay. We're not under turn pressure though, which is good. So we've got eight enemies. We've got good positions for snipers. Really good because we've got two. Pretty, I mean, solid options for the whole team to go up top, to be honest. Um, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna go giga sprinting out. We're gonna take single moves. And we're gonna see where we end up. I wouldn't mind, yeah, I wouldn't mind the uh, rangers leading the charge here. Also, my rangers have um, phantom, so when the squads revealed, they'll stay hidden. I don't think I have it on rich actually. Uh, I'm saying that. Um, can I get on the roof in a single turn? No. So I think we'll save the roof f unless Stephen can. So I think it's probably most sensible for me to go on the roof. So what we'll do is we'll just send me to the steps for now. And then everyone else will just sort of 
push up fairly slowly. It's not a terrible position. I'd want Rich. I want the, the Rangers on the, the, the widest flanks because they have the, the most ability to get back into the game. Um, and then Steven. Moving to take this corner. And then finally, James could just take this corner. And I think we're just we're just going to do an Overwatch turn here. Um, not too sure of what's about. And also, we had that kind of signal that the enemies are fairly close. Something moves over there. Yeah, they are. Commander, remember, no matter I don't how really know what that here, is. So, Rich can move safely to here. Um, what options have I got? So there's a big archway here, which is probably where we're going to go through. So I can move Rich in a single turn to here. That's probably good. I heard something. There's something here. I just heard a little mechanical clunk. All right, we need to be... I just heard it again. All right, we need to be really careful that I don't pull things here. Um, all right, sniper. Let's go up. Um... That would be okay. It's a single move. It leaves me with cover on both sides. We don't spot anything. Again, that corner is where I want to be. But I don't want to just completely dash up there just yet. Carl can get to this full cover without rustling too, ma ruffling too many feathers. Okay, nothing yet. Warlord. Uh, Warlord, I'm going to double run him here. Um... Because I just want the full cover. Carl probably isn't going to do anything. Steven then I think is going to... Could actually tuck Steven in here. And then have the full cover from here. Wouldn't be terrible. I've also got an option with Steven of pushing out to here too. Which would give you another... I want to just sort of, sort of stay together. Um, James I think I'm going to just move in okay. one. Just behind Rich. Give him a bit of backup. I'm really worried that I'm going to... Drag something in a second, so let's see what happens. Then I think they're literally right here outside this door. I know, I know they're close. I heard them. So I think with Rich will go here. The only thing I'm concerned about is if I run. Sort of want to run this way to here. I don't want to run across the door frame, if that makes sense. Yeah, then that was why. All right, there's something here. James, take this position. Let's move already. As if he spotted me. All right, we only single moved, so it's not a disaster. But it's also not good. Depending on where they go, of course. Obviously, they pussy it. Right, this guy's got to go down. Okay, so we've got 76s up the middle. We've got this guy on our flank. I, who's probably... Did I move Warlord? No, I didn't. So I could double run Warlord. Um, to fight this guy. Um, he's quite far out of it. What can I see? Absolutely nothing. I really want to be on this roof, don't I, to be quite honest. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to bring Carl and Warlord back across um, to try and deal with this. Carl can probably... Yeah, I was hoping they could do it from inside the room. He could do it from here. Wouldn't He wouldn't be flanked in any way, shape or form because I've got this door covered and this guy would have to come all the way around. So this is probably quite safe as an option. It means I'm going to reveal them both. Uh, I wonder actually... So Steven could tuck in... Uh, just a case of where could I get a grenade. I could move Steven to here, grenade this, and then I wouldn't need to run everybody out. James and Rich could then take shots at this guy, and then this guy we just leave in the back. For a bit so what i might do is put steven here I, I don't want to use frost bombs yet there's no need we we'll just use a standard frag grenade to hit this guy and take his cover out Catch. 
Right, Steven also has Volatile Mix now, um, which gives his grenades um, plus two damage. So I think now I can do this without wasting run and guns. I might need to use it on one to get to here. It's just I want the shots to be pretty good. So I could... I can run and gun both of these. Where's James? James also has run and gun. And now I have a flank opened up too. What I might want to do... I think I might want to use a grenade with James to blow this guy's cover. So Rich gets a flank. Um, which would be good. I'm just thinking, like, how can I... I want to kill both of these. Can I see... I could also come... Can I come down and take a pistol shot? Yeah. I could stand in the open and take a pistol shot. Because my pistols, like I said, is going to do... Because this is classed as a robotic enemy. So I could. Annoyingly, I can't see it from cover. I would be comfortable... Uh, apparently, I can see it from here. Uh, I'm willing to try. If you say so. Because I, I I want to be able to kill both, and I don't think I'll have enough shots to do it. Yeah, that so that's eleven damage with a pistol. So now, what that means, I can do. We run warlord. We run and gun warlord to here. We kill this. James grenades this. Rich shoots it on the flank. Rich might one shot it. If he doesn't, I've got Carl on standby. But do I actually want to double run Carl to here? Probably because of the. If I need to go this way with Warlord, it would be better if Carl run and gun. Get in close. So here. Stepping off. He gets spotted, which is fine. 100% chance. Really good. Right. So we just keep playing this. Carl also gets another... Oh, Carl would also... Okay, we might not even need to reveal Warlord then. Right, James, you use your grenade. I just want to get rid of the cover. So... The question now is, I think, because Carl got a free action, I think I take the shot with Carl first. Okay, I was, if it killed, I could have gone after the guy in the back. Um, I think Rich indeed does just now kill this. And I can leave Warlord kind of um, incognito. Now, what I can also do, because Rich gets implaceable and untouchable, is we take Rich here. Absolutely. He's in a much better position for next time. Warlord, I can then sort of sneak through here without revealing him, if that makes sense, so that I can use him for scouting, but also back Rich up for the next turn as well. Um, so, yeah. Let's do this. So that's not going to reveal him in any way. We we'll just see what this guy. He might just run away. All right, that's exactly what he's done. Right. Fair enough. Oh fuck me! All right, this is good timing that this happened now. Oh my god, that's the that's the fucking ruler, isn't it? It is. I don't know if it's pulled though. Well, just hasn't pulled. Um, all right, this is gonna be fun. All right, these two guys here do. Where did I move me to? Do I have a shot? 66. Can be dramatically improved. Now I can also, I need to position around me being able to hit the mech, really. Now, this guy's on Overwatch, so... Steven can go here, but I think it's going to run him through Overwatch. Um... Okay, so this these two now are sort of out on a limb. Now, what I don't want to do, if I haven't pulled the Archon Ruler, I don't want to yet. I want to deal with these problems if I can. Uh, 
I think if I move forward, it's going to pull. But I was in these positions before, right? And this is a door. This was this was open. It's not a door. So now we're just dicing with decision making death here. here. I don't want to pull. I didn't. Okay. Now I can. I can just pistol this. There's so much damage with the bloody rounds. And I've removed the overwatch, so that means it's safe for Steven to move up. He could then... It's only a 64. I don't like it. I could also mimic Beacon out here to draw their fire. So that's an option. Carl, I think, is just going to take this position. And what does he have? A 58? It's not it's terrible considering we could kill it. James has a 70, but obviously slightly less damage, but it's a better shot. Nice shot. Okay. What was Steven's shot? A 64. Carl's was a 58. Okay, so basically just, can I... Now, Warlord is, hasn't been spotted yet. But I am concerned that would allow him to see this guy. But I could actually probably get him on a flank. Yeah. So that would be better. So Rich, we're going to bring back in. Apparently, where would he have a shot from? He would have a shot from here, but it's probably on the trooper, I guess. This is where I need to have that mod installed that has the um, better uh, enemy icons. Yeah, it is on him. Okay. Now, if I grenade this guy, we destroy his cover. Which means Steven has a flank and Rich has a flank. But then I'm leaving this up. Effectively. And I don't want... This is the most danger to me with the grenades. So, Steven... I don't want to take the shot with Steven. Because if I miss, I can mimic Beacon. So do I need Carl to take his 58? I think I do. And then I'll just Mimic Beacon if he misses. Uh, he misses, so we Mimic Beacon. Okay, fine. fine. Oh, Carl, it's a second bite of the cherry. Come on, pal. Absolute fucking hero, this guy is. He's also in place of where I can move him. I don't, th don't think it's necessary to move him. However, I now can't grenade... Don't think Rich's grenade will reach. No, I've got run and gun. I could move. I know the grenade reaches. For, it's, it's a bit shit, but I could just duck Carl in here. I can run and gun to here. Then we grenade. It's a bit shit using a grenade on a run and gun. I'll be honest. But it gives Steven a flank shot. It's only a 70, but we are still going to take it. Okay. Now, the other is we wrap Warlord to the corner. It's only a 61, but I don't want to push up, so I'm going to take it. We missed. All right, so that guy's going to fall back. Because he's flanked. He's also revealed. Okay, he's does he has, he's run back. They both run back. Okay. Do not pop the shield. I think he's just shielded all these guys. Um 17%. Oh. I don't want to move up. I literally do not want to move up. I've got a 46. Not great. I, but I, if I move up, I know I am basically going to draw this thing out. And I'd like to kill as many things as possible without doing that. Can I... I don't think I can reach a grenade. Um, James might have a slightly better shot. No, he doesn't. I could kind of swap him with Rich. 
Um, I could really do with Mark's combat protocol here. It would be nice. I can always wait for them to move too. I don't need to do anything. I'm going to take this 46. Fucking hit him as well. And also dropped his cover. Steven has another 45. What's Rich got? 37. James can't see him. Warlord can't see him. I don't want to. I do not want to push up. I just want to kill this guy. Right? I might. Stephen, take the forty-five. I can't tell you how big a kill that is, Stephen. Right. Everybody else. Right. You Overwatch. Carl, reload. Um. I'm, all, I'm kind of tempted to get Carl. I'm not going forwards. Alright, just Overwatch. 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 That, I am very scared of this thing. Right. I'm going to get in a full set of everybody juiced. Now, I don't think this thing is going to move, basically, without me triggering it. So what I'm just going to make sure is that everyone is fully reloaded in the best possible position they could ever be in. I am going to use the free reload. It's fine. Can't overwatch. Right. I would like to get me some height. No in here is going to trigger it. Um, but maybe with the amount of shots I've got, maybe that's okay. But what I don't want to do is go too far forward. So I'm going to go here because basically it's level with where I am. So I'm hoping it won't actually drag them. No, it doesn't. So that, what I might do is then Stephen here. Carl, where I was. Um, Overwatch. Now. This thing's going to run towards me at some pace. So, Steven, Overwatch. If I can set up a bit of an Overwatch trap, I could try and trigger it with um, with Warlord. So, James, Overwatch. Overwatch. Arrows, Overwatch. And then what I might do is try and trigger it with Warlord. What's over there? Looks like one of there them came back for more. And that was kind of what we wanted to do. Right, we need to play this so well. This needs to be absolutely flawless gameplay. Come on, boys. Aiming at the wrong people. I think I just run away, uh, to be quite honest. Steven's got a Mimic Beacon. I'm going to run away. Um, I, I've whiffed every single shot on this thing. Um, okay. Yeah, run away. Run away. Run away. All right, I'll go. All right. I've got... I was reading up on rulers. What are the options I have? Okay, he uses Desolate. That's not terrible. I can live with that. And he's whacked me in the face. That did hurt. Okay. Um, is that if you've got people with repeaters... How many turns do you want? If you've got people with repeaters, you can shoot them. And um, obviously the repeater has the chance to one-shot it. So I want people with repeaters to be shooting at... Healed everyone, brilliant. Right. Anybody in Desolate has to move. I need to move. And I need James to heal me. I guess be okay. Now this Desolate is an AoE. 
Now, if I make contact with him, I think he'll drop Carl. So I'm going to fire my pistol because I think he'll drop him if I damage him. Right, he did drop Carl. Now, Carl has a repeater. Steven has a repeater. Rich has a repeater. Now, the Desolate AoE is a, a tile around bigger. So it's, it's, it's a lot bigger than it looks. Now, Steven, where can we get that has a shot without being flanked? there On the move. I do also 62 is not terrible I need to think about potentially getting the mimic beacon out as well now Carl also has a repeater and can get here I need to start filing back basically um, so I'm going to file Mimic's Carl back position. I need James to heal me Carl's got a 69. All right, okay. This is okay. So James is going to drop back into here and then heal me. Here I come. Otherwise, I'm probably dead to whatever comes out next. Go heal him. Now, Rich and Warlord could have a look at trying to do something. I've also got my Frost Bomb with Steven too. So Steven's... I'll save... Steven's shot for last because if I can not use it then I'll not use it Rich has got run and gun I could run and gun Rich to here and take another repeater shot at him that's going to be like does James have a repeater oh, it doesn't matter if he does anyway whereas Warlord could kind of run interference I'll save him for later and I'll save I'll save Rich's turn um Carl. Carl doesn't have a repeater. No, he doesn't. So I am going to run a gun rich then. I need you to one shot this Archon Rich. Come on. He poisoned it, which is good because it will now take tick damage. So that's not awful. Steven also has a repeater. Your chance to be a hero, my friend. Right, do one damage. I think James. I think James has a repeater as well. Um, right, Warlord. I think. I think we just have to move back. Just get out of these guys' range. Like literally, just literally sprint it back. Double time. <laughs> Need to play this very sensibly and very carefully. Now I'm still gonna take the shot with Carl because he might do some damage. Okay. There's a, there's a graze. So this desolate's now gonna land. He's poisoned. Only one damage though. Right, he's missed. Everybody's in full cover. Okay. I'm pinned down here. Right. So, anybody without a repeater is going to shoot these two. Everybody with a repeater is going to shoot this. So, Carl does not have a repeater. He can go here and flank these guys now warlord has the um ap rounds so can shred these guys so this this looks this looks dumb but i'm going to use me warlord and carl to try and kill these right 
Right. I did a lot to him. So we're getting aggressive now. Kind of need to. Um, oh my god, he can't kill it. Ten. One of these needs to die. Um, oh my god, Carl. I love, I just love you. I think he gets implaceable now so I can actually run him away. It's fucking so, there's so much mobility. All right, back you go. Right, one down. Now, me. I can not see anyone. I could grenade this guy. I could grenade. I'm okay with my position up here. I could. I don't think I can hit this guy, unfortunately. It's just sort of out of my ballpark. Now, I could wait with me or I could overwatch now I uh, would have loved to come there so I need to now get shots on this thing with the people who have repeaters so James does he, I'm just checking he does right it's only a 76 and then I've got Steven now what I could do is frost bomb this this guy's the most mobile and the most fucking annoying to deal with. So we could do that. So, James, do you, do you want to be a hero? Dodge. Anywhere that I get rich leaves him basically flanked by this guy um steven i'm thinking do i try and kill do i sort of sack this off for now and try and actually kill um these guys so i can put steven here it leaves him flanked but then arrows could go here and shoot this guy it could kill him I've then got a pistol shot on him as well. Sure thing. Uh, which has an 86 with a repeater. It's an advanced repeater as well. What I can do, Rich shoots it with frost bomb. Rich, oh my fucking god, he did it. Oh my Rich Oh my fucking god Run away Steven frost bomb this guy now um Oh my fucking god Rich uh, Frost bomb yeah freeze it Oh my god Okay he's frozen that's good frozen is good uh right um Okay, I can now grenade this guy, potentially. Uh, I don't want to put myself in any bother, really. Um, oh, I think that's okay. Now, I can't see either, but we can, we can just get some damage on this guy, which is probably my priority for next turn is just get some damage on him. He's going to be frozen, so that's okay. I can't believe Rich has executed the ruler. Oh my god. He's frozen, so that's cool. We, we just... No, okay, just to survive. Okay, uh, we need to relax. I need to relax. I'm having a bad moment. Right, this guy must die. Anybody with run and gun... Warlord. Doesn't even need run and gun. We can just get on the flank here. I hope it's worth it. And DPS. Let's go. Right, he's one shot, so 
I'm going to drop down with a pistol and finish this guy. Okay. And then everybody else gets shots on this guy while he's still frozen. I think, um, I think being frozen will remove his dodge. So I'm fairly sure that everybody gets better shots against him. I mean, I am going to move in. I'm not going to take them from a, a mile away. Ooh, right, car needs to reload. To but we are just going to run and gun to, to here. I guess a free reload. I did even need to run and gun. 95%. I'll crits him. Um, Rich. I think Rich deserves the final shot of this mission. I really think he does. Can't even. I'm shocked. Absolutely. Pick up the loot. Right. Um. Right. There's no remaining. I've still got to get the woman and get out. Um. So I need to kind of Assets just secure. relax. Everybody, relax. Time. Um. Hey. Tired of waiting around. Even. Reload. On your order. All right. Arrow's one shot are chosen as well. He's like the fucking the harbinger of death. Right. Warlord Scout. Is it clear? This is where I'd really like the ability to reconceal. It's something I'm gonna consider on the Rangers because um I mean this says there's nothing remaining. I think All to be right, honest, the only issue go. I'm gonna get is when I rescue her, it will probably call in reinforcements, is my sort of guess. But everyone else, I think we're fairly safe to travel up the map. Um, do I want to heal me with James? It's definitely... It's only 2 HP and I've still got armor. It's a consideration. I think it'll be okay. Um, James, just tuck in next to me go, for now. Go, go. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how we survive that with only me taking damage. I really fucking don't. All uh, right, Rich is going to run here. Affirmative. I want to make sure that when we push into the room to get her, where is the door? Right, we can actually get in. So I want to get in, but I don't want to um, pick her up. If that makes sense. I just want to uh, get to good cover positions go, go, go. with my rangers for now. And then we'll get in there next turn. I also can then kind of concertina up the boys, Stephen, uh, me. I might run out to here. And then I think we're just going to overwatch. Okay. So, Carl. That was predictable. That is predictable. We've got the VIP in tour moving to VIP identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an got a hold for three turns. Okay. Right. So I need to set up for multiple ambushes here. Warlord definitely just takes this and overwatches for sure. Maybe shot in the back, potentially, maybe. Warlord here. What's over there? He's gonna overwatch. Rich can just take this position and overwatch. Sure thing. Uh, James, I'm wondering about how many people I focus over here. I think I can just long watch from my existing position. That's okay. Um, Steven potentially could also do that. I could run and gun. I think I, it depends what drop. I might actually funnel funnel James this way to help. Like I can run and gun an overwatch. 
here perhaps. Then I've got three overwatch shots on this direction and then we'll try and deal with this direction later. So let's run and gun James to here. And I'm going to overwatch him. I'm going to just, I'm happy with my position so I'm going to long watch. Steven's position I'm also happy with. Also going to overwatch. Warlord is overwatch for sure. Now Ashley Ward, um, I'm tempted just to like, literally run you, I don't want you in the middle, this is the middle of the battle at the end of the day. So I, I think I'm going to get you to go here. And then I've got Carl who is going to help me with this way. So I'm just going to take him to full cover for now. Um, and then Rich finally is going to overwatch. Muton. That it. Uh, and a mech. Okay. Two mutons. Okay. Annoyingly, my Overwatch shots are focusing these guys, and I want them to focus those guys. Steven, uh. Now, we, the, the irony is that I really wish this game had... There's a mod, basically, that you can get where you can choose the cone of fire that that Overwatch is in. Um, and I, I might consider it because it's really annoying when they do that. Like, really annoying. He's going up top. Okay. Carl's on fire. Right, there's more coming in next turn. Okay, now. Right, Carl is key to this. What shot do I have? Do I have a flank? Yeah, I do. Alright, I think I kill this here. Now, what I could do is actually use face-off. I would shoot this, this, and this. I'll probably... Yeah, I'm actually going to use face-off here. Like, I get three pistol shots. We kill that guy. Alright, we missed that guy. That's it. But that I was gonna do no better with my sniper. Now I do I wouldn't mind leaving an overwatch shot for this, but it might not be possible. Now Carl probably is prime time to get a flank on this guy. Um, I do have run and gun. It's just what what am I gonna what am I gonna Carl, I don't think Carl can one shot it's this case of what am I gonna follow up with. I could also frost bomb. Um, so really, now Rich can break Overwatch here. James, I assume, is a very good shot on this. Yeah, he does. Um, I might take it. Uh, Warlord um, has got anti-shield rounds, though. So I think I put him here. Now, has he got the ability where he doesn't breach Overwatch? Okay, he doesn't trigger Overwatch fire. So I'm going to start with Warlord. Because of the AP rounds that will basically bust through the armor. Nice. Not bust through the armor, but ignore the armor. Right, Ashley, you chill. You chill, sweetie. I think James tries to finish this. And he's on one in HP. Uh, Rich is going to have to step into the breach again to help. I can run again into here and it'll be 100%. I just, it's a bit close for comfort when this guy is highly likely to grenade or flamethrower me. Um, now, can Steven assist Carl with killing this guy? I could also frost bomb it. It's tempting. I can, I can move Steven up and then frost bomb. Probably the play. And then we focus on killing these guys. Now, I could also move Rich here. Apparently, he can see it from there. I could see what the shot's like before I run and gun him, if that makes sense. I mean, I've got a 62 from here. So here, I also need to be careful that I'm not lining myself up to get shot in the back, which I pro basically am. I think Rich is flanked here. Yeah, he is by the muton. Goes up to a 69. I'm actually going to run and gun. I'm going to secure it. Oh, well, I now can't run and gun as far as I wanted to. I'm going to have to run and gun to there. 
Now an 85. Nice shooting. Right, I think the play, because I don't think I can kill the Muton. Uh, also, I get Implaceable, so uh, I can... I'll, I'll, let me see what happens over here first. So, Steven... Okay, that's good. That's full cover. I didn't realise that was full cover. So that's good. Now what we do is we frost bomb this. So he's now frozen. Ashley Ward. Hunker down. Hunker down. Right. Now, got an option here. What we do with Carl. Now, because of this half cover, this is not a flank. There's something else obviously you know, about to come through there. Um, I want to get some damage into this. What's my shot now? My, my shot from here is a 78. It's not awful. Nice. Give me another turn. <laughs> Fucking hell, Carl. Now, it's a 78 or... But that doesn't guarantee the kill. We're going to take the shot again. I probably could have done that before... Um... Okay, the car's in full cover. It's fine. All right, so Rich now. I'm going to turn him to face this way. I think he needs to help with what comes out of here next. So we'll do that. Carl doesn't need to move. So we're going to end the turn. Okay, Trooper. And another flamey boy. All right. Okay. This mission is very difficult. You're right. Now, this guy, I assume he's going to grenade us or flame us or probably a flame attack, right? Does he actually hit? Getting a little too warm over here. Getting a little too warm over here. More One more turn, I can leave. Right. Now, these boys are not on fire, but they will be if I don't move. So. If Warlord has to run through flame, he's on fire right now. So, um, I also he also has to reload, um, but he gets a free reload, right? Free reload. It's yeah. time. Right, a sixty-seven. He could also grenade it and open up the flank, but I need to move him. Really, he's on fire. Um, I mean, I've got an 86 chance to one-shot this guy, so we take that for sure. Doesn't one-shot. Okay, it's fine. I've got Mimic Beacon. Oh, what's my little... Carl could grenade here, kill this guy, and then open up the flank for Steven. It's probably reasonable, but what I will do is I will reload first. Right, so if we, oh, we get a free reload, which I'll take, which is fine. Now, in the case of do I grenade, grenading kit confirms. So I am going to do it, and also we'll make sure we hit the other, we hit both. Yeah, there we go. Should destroy the cover too. Get shreds. Didn't destroy the full cover. Interesting. Oh, it's implaceable. Which I could actually then take him to here. Um, probably better for next turn. I could bring Rich. I think Rich has still got run and gun. So I could bring Rich. He hasn't got run and gun. But I could get him into Carl's position um, to have a shot. It's just a case of these two have to deal with this guy. It shouldn't be too hard. I can also back him up with Steven, potentially. It's just Warlord sort of being on fire, which is a issue. Um, what I might do with him, is there more? Yeah, there's more coming in as well. Now I can bring him here, 
and we take the flank shot, he'll get in place of I can move him back. Yeah, he's on fire. It's okay. Right, crits. With Implaceable, we probably tuck here. I hope it's worth it. And then you stay. So James then could go here and overwatch. So that when whatever comes in from here, James will at least get one shot at. Finally. And we're kind of grouping back together as well. Or what I do is I heal him. So he doesn't take any damage. But let's see what we can do with Rich here. Sure thing. This guy's now priority. It's only a 57. Now, there's no point in leaving um, stuff on the battlefield, essentially, right? There's, there's just no point in leaving. Now, the only thing is Stephen can't throw it. Right, I'll probably need to move Steven first and then throw the Mimic Beacon. On your order. I'm moving him out of full cover to do this, but there's no point in having utility and not using it. So if I throw the Mimic Beacon, Rich can take his 50-50. Rich kills it. I'm good. Um, but... This guy is just That's how it's done. built so different. Right, and now I can reposition him back this way. Right, Heading fucking out. hell, this guy. James Overwatch. Um, right, now, Wardy. Now, what I might do with you is get a bit closer. Um, as in, nothing else is spawning over here. So I'm going to run you here. Because I want you to be close enough that I, I can get out together. Another mech. And another trooper. Okay, should get a shot. I think also as well, I might be able to call extract now. So... James misses. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Okay. For the extraction. Get out of there before and things get any worse. Can I get her out? I think we're going to extract her because it's just too risky. Um, I'm probably going to have to leave the other boys in to deal with some stuff. With some stuff, but let's evac her. VIP right. Now we just to need to think. If we just start things. coming back this way. Um, I can wrap the corner with him here, which would give him probably two half decent shots. Do I have anything? I have a squad sight all the way down the hall at 62. If I can destroy the cover, that will be drastically improved. Warlord's got a grenade. He can't throw a frag grenade because he's burning. So James, if he can gremlin heal... Warlord. Mission's still so stressful. Right, one HP healed, and it, but most importantly, it healed the burning. So, what I can do with Warlord now is wrap the corner, right, throw the grenade. Go. Now, if I can hit them both, I can't. Right, this is just to free the shot up for me from the back. So we shred him and we do two damage. Now I should have a much improved shot. It's now 87. Okay. I got it right. So now the good thing is, oh, is my mimic beacon expired? Yeah, it has. So we know there's something spawning here. I'm tempted to bring Steven in for here for an overwatch. So when it lands, he'll just get to try and have a pop at them. Um, how I'm probably also just going to move here and overwatch. He's got a better shot at it. Um, 
rich I'm wondering can rich affect what's going on over here he can in terms of an overwatch I think I just don't want to get grenaded uh, I haven't got run and gun yet for two turns so rich could oh could reload and overwatch James has an 88 I might just get him to take this We're executing all kinds of bitches out here today. Two mutons. Let's go. Clean these and get out, please. All right. Overwatch shots from Carl and Steven. Okay. Two misses. It's okay. And Rich also gets some from the back. Which misses, but we chipped his health a little bit. He's gone. Ooh, hello. Hello. It's getting a bit... like they're running out of reinforcements Let's good i hope they are running out of reinforcements this is a fucking joke um right can i maneuver anyone here to kill uh what have i got it's always worth checking snipers first 51 46 not great this guy up here is actually going to prove to be a fucking annoying um now steven 57 40s so there is a there is a question here of can i get out that question is no, I cannot get out. So I, I certainly can't get Warlord out. Um, he has got run and gun. So I could run and gun him here. Uh, or here even. To take a better shot at this guy. I could also run and gun him here. Which is probably even better because it's on the same elevation. So he will have a better shot. So I, I'm going to run and gun him anyway. Because I need to move him from that position. And I, actually, I am going to call that this is probably the better percentage shot than he would have yeah it's a 60 it's still not great we'll see if we can improve it um i'm thinking carl can kill this guy i've got run and gun back i could move here we shoot it in the side I'm coming for you. Copy that. yeah a 96 Now I've got lots of shots at this guy up top to do something. So Carl also gets in placeable. Um, so I can kind of put him into just put him into full, basically, is is just better. Right, Rich. What can we work with you? I can get to here? It's full. I'd rather be ever again, I'd rather everyone's in full cover. Uh, 55. Now the issue is um, you can't sword these guys. They have a, a like a built-in sort of parry effect. Um, now, Steven cannot get a flank. His shot is a 57. So I think the... I mean, I could go up... If I need to finish him with a pistol, I can do it. Um, so Warlord probably, like I said, has got has manoeuvred the best shot here. But it's just different, man. He gets in placeable too. Um, so I can actually put him here and on Overwatch. This is just, we are now getting so strong. Uh, Rich is going to just duck to this full cover here. Basically, we're leaving. So um, I don't care what comes out of that place now. We are out of here. I'm moving. James is going to not even reload and just haul it. Steven also is just going to duck in here and Overwatch. All right, something's dropping, but I ain't shooting it. Another mutant and another thing. Okay. Enemy movement ahead. I don't care. Right, uh, James, Carl, Rich. James is already in. Me. Steven. Okay. Warlord. Probably way? the most clutch XCOM mission I have ever done in my entire life. Get it out of here. 
how everybody's got out of that unscathed. We killed the ruler. We killed everything fucking else the game threw at us there. And uh, I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. Um, two enemies wounded. I am going to take a photo. Fuck it. I'm going to take a photo because it's just too clutch. There we go. Uh, right. <laughs> we even took a photo. That's how pleased I was with that mission. Um, okay. We're in a really good position now to do well in this campaign. I got promotions too. I think Rich got a promotion. I mean, he should do. He killed a fucking ruler. Two promotions. Which is promoted to Colonel. Oh my god. Rapid fire. Fire twice in a row. Okay. Reaper. A devastating chain melee attack where the first melee attack cannot miss. Each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks have reduced damage. Or covering fire. And neither of these are amazing. Each shot suffers a penalty of 15 aim. Not, not actually terrible if we got on a flank. Um, obviously, I just, I'm going to rank him up anyway because you get extra health and stuff. This Reaper sounds interesting, though. Each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks have reduced damage. So I can basically run around like an absolute... I think maybe we take Reaper. I kind of want to see what would happen. Um, Rich is our first fully maxed XCOM soldier. Carl gets to Major. Deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Yeah, I, we take untouchable. It's like just broken. Um, so broken. Um, I'm thinking of maybe investing some points in this reconceal. Um, or shredder. They got really good. There's uh, or blade storm. There's like four or five things I could pick up on Carl. No, I haven't got a huge amount of AP on him. I've got a lot of AP in the. I'll have a look at this probably for next mission. Um, Steven has cohesion with uh Commander, okay. having successfully okay. recovered one of Dr. Ballen's genetically modified. We got the king autopsy as well. So huge. As soon as so it's huge. Right. Um I've got a negative I, I need to get some traits removed. Now I keep forgetting to fucking do this. So I'm gonna do it now. To accomplish these I'm gonna remove changes. them from Rich actually. Because I don't want Rich getting negatively impacted. Um Okay, so that's that's happening. Right, I am going to call it there. What, what an episode! Possibly the best episode of all time. So, I'll try and top it on the next one, but no promises. Thanks for watching.